From the endless plains of the Far East to the deserts of Ceridon, from the peaks of the Grey Gates to the ruined lands of Adversaria, I've seen this world in all of its horrors and splendors. And I've learned one thing. A great tide of darkness boils on the horizon, threatening any moment to dash the ships across the rocks. Shivali will be drowned by the morrow if we are not united. United under someone who understands the world and its threats. Myself. My brothers are not evil, but they are misled. Ansfri is more scholar than king and would suit his path better in the library. And I suspect he'd enjoy it more as well. Sweet Benoit is nothing beside a lost puppy being dragged by the leash by the vultures of the west. And Clement! Oh, path young Clement and his brazen mother, whose idea of protecting the youth is propping him on a throne. Oh, if I am to save Shivali, my brothers must be stopped. For my love for them, I must try and save them. But if I must do evil to save our realm, then evil I shall do. And so on the shores of Shivali, our story begins. Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. I am Soul Tomato, and here we are in God Herja. Once again, we are going to dawn the Devossignon family sword. The family blade of the Devossignon family has seen use in hundreds of battles over four centuries. Initially discovered by the self-styled King Credon Devossignon shortly before the Red River War, which is also the Anarchy of the Five Kings, in an ancient crypt of unknown make, its glimmering black blade seemingly fades in and out of vision as it cuts through the air with a sickening hiss. The metal and style of the blade are a mystery to all who have seen it, and its ability to cut through sight itself. And we also have a piece of the broken crown. Uh, so Godfrey de Vassignon at the Council of Clois, who, when presented with his children's demands to choose a successor, proclaimed that whoever put it together could have the throne for all he cared. Since then, the pieces have become a symbol for Chevalier's lost glory, and many await the day that a suitable ruler should piece together the crown and realm both. It is a masterwork trinket, but we only have a piece of it, I believe. Um, a couple of the other, I think he uh, he has a piece of it. We could challenge him for the artifact. I should we do that? Should we challenge him? Should we be like, I demand the artifact, brother? You know what? That actually sounds that that actually sounds kind of cool. I'm gonna challenge him to a duel for it. Um, and then as far as this one goes, I believe he also has a piece of the artifact, which. I'm going to work on stealing his, and then I think he has the other one. Yeah, I can only steal two pieces. I think, I don't I think it's five pieces of the crown, or four, I, I think it's five, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, so we're attacking this little territory, very tiny. But, and unfortunately, you start off with your armies already raised, so I'm just gonna lead this myself. I'm not even gonna, I'm, this is his special force, so I'm just gonna do this. Ah, uh, for a brief moment, King Benyon and I pace lazily half circles each waiting for an opening. I heft my Devossignon family sword ready to defend myself while he clutches his axe firmly in hand. Let's get this shit out of here. I'm the fastest blade in the band of bastards, you bastard. And I've won. My brother, King Benyon de Porte de la Baston is Wounded, and I have beaten his ass. And now, brave friends, I've become an owner of the piece, another piece of the crown, which I believe these are court artifacts. So these were created by our dad, High King Godfrey. He has some pretty cool lore, actually. Um, I don't want to share it at the moment, but it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. He will accept the piece of the crown. He will accept giving it to me. Oh my God, he's just giving me the. crown. <laughs> Why? God, he's got. A, you start off with quite a lot of troops. Also, I am not married, and we've not chosen a path. Let's choose a path. Let's do chivalry. Chivalry focus. Always good. Makes sense. Also, just an FYI, Renee is only like 30, so kind of crazy. Um, strongest would be the best. She's 19. She's got decent traits. It's a decent alliance. An extra thousand troops never hurt anybody. Uh, that it, it would literally be the difference between winning and not. What would what would he do is the problem. What does he what does we what does he have? He's ambitious. He is ambitious. This guy's outside of any of the other uh, alliances, so I'm gonna do this. I don't like that. I don't. I feel a little uncomfortable, but and I don't want to kill my brothers if I can help it. I would like him to be as good as possible. I am gonna steal the artifact from my my youngest brother, unless I can just demand it from him. No, oh, you can't. Yep. And then we're sieging. Let's turn this up to four, as you know. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go really fast here. These 
two, I should be able to shore up pretty much immediately. Man, how do you go about this? Reforge the crown. Oh, it's only four. It is four pieces. Interesting. So I already have three of the pieces and we just started. Pretty crazy. We have, uh, we've unlocked this, which has increased our marshal, I believe, by two. All right, landing of the bastards has commenced. We have taken this land. We have taken it. We could create a cadet branch. I don't know why I would do that. I would like to remain a senor, which I believe is all of our houses. I believe I am the true senor as well. Uh, I'm going to declare war on you. The March of Reunica Ooh. That's what these are called, huh? My claims. Oh, interesting. Martial reunification is too expensive, but I can do it as a claim. And it won't be too expensive. That's good to know. Alright, cool. I'm gonna have you assist with my schemes. And I'm also gonna try and invite somebody. How much money would this cost? 50? It's worth it to steal the crown and reforge it. I'm sorry. I don't want to work in the shadows. That is where... Station Besiegers, and then the rest of you can come down. Beautiful. It's going so well so far. I will be a just and fair ruler, don't you worry, guys. I just need it to remake this crown. 15 months. This one's almost over, and then we'll be able to go down. All right. I have stolen the piece of the crown. Oh my god. Beautiful. After High King Godfrey split the crown, he stated that whomever could gather the pieces would be worthy to wear it. In wrestling all of them from the clutches of pretenders, I have proven myself to be the legitimate successor. Let Shivali stand united once more. You gain the crown Shivali artifact. An end to family squabbles. Alright, I now have the crown of Shivali on my head. Oh my god. Restored by the one true ruler of Shivali, the crown of the marchers of Shivali is once again a symbol of unity. One can only hope that this new line of kings can maintain the sanctity of the crown and guard the northern borders against the necromantic darkness beyond. Look at what this gives you. Prestige plus one a month. Monthly renown plus 5%. Minus 20% tyranny gain. Court grandeur plus four. Heavy infantry plus 10 damage bonus. Do we even have heavy infantry? I would assume we do. With heavy, we do not have heavy horsemen though. I don't think we even have another slot. But, oh my god. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, we do. We have anti magi in our in our ranks here. That is so interesting. Uh, I see. So I'm assuming you can just go straight up to war with these dudes and be like, "All right, I'm taking it back," because we're, that's what we're gonna find out. I've never played as Renee, and I feel like the AI always screws this up whenever it plays as Renee. So I'm very curious to see what we can manage to do here. I'm not gonna kill any of my brothers because I really like the idea of Renee being. I mean, he's brave, ambitious. He is stubborn. But he's not, he's not malicious, right? He's a good dude. As much, as much of a good dude as a, a mercenary captain can be, you know. And just like that, we are done here. Should we do like, um, like a hunt or something? Try to get some money? I'm just gonna try and get a little extra prestige here. We're in boar territory. We're gonna hunt a boar. Let's get out there. Let's get out there and hunt us a boar. Ooh, thank God. All right, I got a little money. Got a little prestige. Right, we're gonna ride after the boar. God, I love hunting. You get so much prestige. Oh, we lost it. We can seize our de jure land, or let's let's just double check here. Martial reunification is all of it in one swoop. That is actually really impressive. I'm gonna do this first. And who is he under attack by? Oh, he's attacking them. He's attacking a lich for this duchy. What is he attacking him for? Oh, he wants that. I will station my besiegers and I will head him off south. There we go. Absolutely bodied him. Honestly, it's pretty unfair. If you think about it. Let's do Bellum Justum, just because it'll make all these stupid invasions so much cheaper. We're gonna seize their capital next. He should probably be in here. This is actually um, where the uh, the Conclave de Rocour is. So 
That would be a good place to siege. Also, my brother is probably in here. Oh, I took the Master of Ways. I could ran I can ransom him for 100 gold, which I will do, because I would love to create a... Oh, God, do I even want the Light Footman? I would do that. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe, maybe one more. Increase all those three by one. Try to have as big an army as possible. Now we just gotta basically siege the rest of this. This would be a huge territory. Very, a big territorial win for us. Uh, technically we have 2,800 troops. We also just got more money somehow. So increase armored footmen by one as well. Maybe increase this to three. Just grow the army. Keep growing the army. He's gonna probably try and take back his stuff. We'll just station besiegers, you know the drill, run over there. With our superior forces, with our billions of of men at arms that we have, which is crazy, we have so many. Do we still not have war score? My god. She'll be an adult soon. And then we'll take this, and that should that should end it, realistically. It looks like it should. Oh my god. I don't know where he is. He's somewhere hidden. He's only- he's 10 now. New Marshall perk. Dang, we just got one. He's flying through this. Let's do engineer for destruction. Increase- uh, decrease siege time. Boom, now it's three months. Look at this. Look at this. Who is this guy? The Vardevit Court. I am now a king. Let them see their new king. Other matters called to my attention first, my guys. All right. So what do you want, brother? Oh, see now. Okay, so this is the problem, though. Now the problem, of course, is that I have, like, no troops. So I need him to come over here. So first I gotta replenish, and then I have to beat him back. I can vassalize this guy with low obligations or religiously exempt. I will vassalize you, for sure. I can negotiate an alliance with my half-brother, who is now a vassal of mine. Says I'd win, says I'm built different. God, look at all the men-at-arms you get. Jesus. Then we just gotta take these back. Well, apparently the AI is stupid. It's gonna take him two years to siege that, so I'm just gonna take this and then go back up. And then hopefully, eventually, we get, um... I'm gonna have to take one of those back. The child beater wants a position? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I suppose. I don't know how I feel about the child beater being his name, but hey. Is he at war with somebody else? He just dipped. I am now married. Of course, I'll collect the money. So we are now married. We have a 16-year-old bride. I am 36. Oh, just a tiny, tiny 19-year gap. It's totally fine. Nobody has to feel weird. She actually has pretty good traits. Generous, diligent, and forgiving. She's a warrior. Has the way of crowns. I believe he's the way of nullification. Yeah. Mm. You just have to have complete control of, of three of the territories. I see. He's not probably going to get married. He's also an idiot, so hopefully that won't matter too much. Let's do Household Guard. I can vassalize this person, which I will. I'm assuming it's them. Beautiful. Are you technically part of my kingdom? You are not. I think I have now complete control over... This, right? Oh, no, I don't. It, technically, part of it's in his land. Maybe I can send him a gift, and he won't... Oh, my God. You want $600? Dude, you can go. You can shove it. I ain't giving you shit. Holy shit. He's like, I'll approve of you for a measly 600 gold. And I'm like, all right, man. Maybe I can capture my brother, because this has been going on now for six years. I would really love this dude to just chill and get out of here. So what does he have to give me? He's gonna have to give me 228 gold, but we are gonna be in a truce. Ah, uh, Rene, you can have a little Rene running around. I'm just gonna name it Ren I'm gonna name them Rene regardless of what uh, gender they are. I just want you guys to know that. All right, and then I'm going to turn my gaze to my brother, who is allied to one of my internal uh, 
people, but I need to I need to start going after these people as well. Oh, the ogre, Ogier, the ogre of Bane Reset. Yeah, dude, his freaking thing is so sick. I love his his symbol. Band. Now, I apparently can just declare war on him right now. So we're gonna just jump immediately back into this because apparently the game has <laughs> there's no qualms with me doing this. That's insane, dude. He's got such a big army, too. He wanted me to go to war. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm very much busy right now. This person's my rival. My steward is my rival? Well, that can't be good. My newborn son! Um, after a family member? After myself. Renee! Yes. Prince Renee, you shall follow the ways of... of path. And then, what are you part of? Ooh, you're part of this down here. That's actually a really solid alliance as well. 2300. Easy, in the bank. Then let me educate you, my beautiful, beautiful boy. Thank you, my dear wife, Genvius. Genvu. It's almost genius, but not Genvuis. I don't know how you would say that. Somebody who's French, please tell me. I had another son. Well, I can't name him after... I'm gonna have to name him Godfrey. I can't name him Rene. Dang, many sons. Hold on a second. God bless. I would have been upset if Gar- I would have- Guardfree, I understand. I understand. I'm sorry, man. Jesus. Wife is pregnant again. Renee! Renee, my man! You have to relax. Holy God. This man is- Get off her! Good God. Renee is like, come here, wife. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Your oldest is one. You have gotten this woman pregnant every year you've been married so far. You need to chill out. We are so close. So close to this now. Negotiate an alliance. My half-brother? He, ga he gained stress. Poor guy's shy. Oh my god. Well, we'll name him after some... Uh, uh, my third son. This is not a good time. Ogier, I, can't, I shouldn't ally myself to you. That would be bad. I'm gonna have to attack you soon. This one would be okay. This one would be smarter. We would lose a little bit, but that's fine. I think for you, I would like you to do stewardship. And you can be taught by your mama. Um, actually, who has the highest stewardship? Who's got the best stewardship? This guy. You know what? I think I think your guardian should definitely be um, your your mom. If if somebody should do it, it's definitely not some rando in the kingdom. This is nearly over. All these have taken so long. Three years. Renee is thirty nine. It's been what ten years since we started. Yeah. All right. This is over. Oh, we do not have to do anything with that. Okay. Cool. We have been... What is the court artifact? Oh, just another house banner that we don't need. Okay. Um, ideally, I would like to have this. But I don't. Because it goes to the Waymaster. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> he wants to create something which captures nature's beauty. How much is it? 50? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Do it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Um, what is Shivali's natural borders? Reunite Shivali. I have two of them now. All I would need is one more. So I would need to have full control of Roar. Full control of... Oh, I wish it would stay up there. Of Moreau, which I believe he actually... It appears he has all of it. Alright, I think it's time then to go after this guy. For the March of Reunification. It is time. It has been too long. We can call in all of the big guns. We'll call in the Dutch. The Dutch are here uh, in the game. 
We're gonna, I'm just gonna call on them all. I don't feel like messing about. It's not even gonna be difficult, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Oh, that's right. I forgot Peacemaker is in the um, Chivalry Tree, which is actually really, really good. Um, if we can get a nice early victory on him, this may help us out. All of my dudes are coming in. Oh, he's not even leading the army. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I forgot that he's basically not that way. I don't want to impress Eloise. Why would I want to do that? Alright, so we're about to take his capital. Recombine. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, again. Again. And then, this is not Shivali. Actually, this is not technically part of a realm. Technically, the Isles are part of Shivali as well. I don't really care about those. I'm not gonna go out of my way to go snag them. We could. We'll see how we feel after we make the bulk of the land mass. Glory is widely known. We are now illustrious. We all we gotta love that. What is this man making? He's like, please, I need a tooth. But my lord, I just need one tooth from the navy. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. All right. I mean, damn, he knew what he was talking about, I guess. Jesus Christ. Let's repair it before it gets all discombobulated. I would like to put that, I think, behind my head, maybe? Ooh, yeah, the tapestry of a renade. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Well, actually, that wouldn't really make sense, would it? It would probably make more sense if it was like this, and then the tapestry was over here. Okay, yeah, that's that's way cooler. Look at that. Mwah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, we finally have a daughter. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's name her after them. Uh... We can ally ourselves with Petty. Ooh, Petty gets ready. I don't even care. And you, my, my, my sweet daughter, I would like you to be wise in the ways of diplomacy. And you can be taught by your mom as well. With four children. God, what a, what a happy time this is for Renee. What a, what, a good, what a good timeline this turned out to be. And now we're allied to one of the strongest people in this, in this area, which is, you know, always good. And then we'll be able to go through and just go ham. This scheming against me, throw him in jail. And I executed him. It must be done for the good of the realm, my friends. If you're gonna scheme against me, well, and you're gonna get, you're gonna get got, is, what's, is what I'm trying to say. And that is over. So be it, disband, beautiful. And it looks like we can reunite Shivali now, which is gorgeous. So we're gonna hit that button. Shivali lays disunited and such conflict in its borders have not been since the War of the Black Gold League. If Shivali is to become united once more, it will require a strong ruler with equally strong claim to the throne and for their enemies to have been brought to heel. Again, the trait united the marches, which through war, intrigue, diplomacy, or likely a mix of all three, mostly war. Rene has united the marches of Shivali into the High Kingdom of Yor. While many predict there will come a time when yet another ruler will need to piece together the broken throne, for now he reigns as the great unifier among the great High Kings of old. And I will become a High King. It is over. The wars of un reunification are done. And good men from both sides now serve as fuel for the pyres. As I sit on my father's throne, the land is scarred and fractured still, just as my family remains. And I can even now hear the whisperings of nobles who think they are more silent than they are or safer in their positions, that the bastard king deserves not to sit on so high a throne. They are wrong. Through fire and fury I took back my father's throne, and from those who did not deserve to sit it. And through fire and fury I will ensure the realm remains united and the lich is kept from our borders. If my brothers can never recognize this, then it shall be so. But I am high king, and my rule begins now. Now begins a time of healing and an age of war. Demand the fealty of the independence. 
The worst vagaries of the war are over, as the broken pieces of Shivali have been mended by my hand. The last major pretenders to the throne are either dead or browbeaten into submission, and my legitimacy is now almost undisputed. Almost. Certain lords and ladies throughout the marches have not yet come to the Nambri to pay their proper dues and swear fealty to me. While not necessarily a sign of actual hostility, I will send envoys to receive the allegiances of those that simply have not yet given it due to their circumstances beyond their control and determine those that have insidious motives. Let's see who will bend and who will have to be broken. Wow, reintegrate this place. The continued existence of what remains of these people sits on a blade's edge. Their proximity to the lichdoms of perpetual axe hanging over their heads. We must return them to the fold for their own good. Let's hope they pick wisely. Straddling our border with the lichdoms is the last vestige of... These, these are the original people that lived in the lichdoms. The duchy, I can't say that word. Traditionally, their grand duke has given fields to the ruler of Shivali, a reasonable courtesy, considering the fact that the only reason their people hold the land in the first place is the generosity of one of our forebears. As of now, however, we have not yet received the honors we are due. We should remedy this. Send the messenger. Envoys have arrived from numerous major lords that were effectively independent from the crown, ensuring us of their liege's loyalty and that they will be traveling to Nambre to pay homage in person. No additional stipulations were asked for, whether due to the fact that they felt they weren't in a bargaining position or are actually content to be under my rule is a question that might be interesting, but doesn't hold much relevance. Now for those whose responses weren't nearly as clear-cut. As expected, not everyone has decided to affirm their legal duties to me voluntarily, at least not without strings attached. Several letters sitting at my desk bearing platitudes intermixed with subtle requests for royal favors between the lines. Accepting would, of course, leave me somewhat indebted, but it would avert the bloodshed of having to bring these rulers to heel at sword point. Hmm. I don't enjoy be exempt from paying taxes. Does he have a particularly rich duchy or rich county? Where is he at? What the hell? I'll accept him on a case by pace basis. All right, this guy, let's see. Exempt from any tax obligations. Where are you? Uh, you know what? These terms are acceptable. That's fine. How many levies does he have? That's fine. Yeah, Shivali will shatter upon my ascension. They have a really unique uh, succession system for Shivali. You basically have to be worthy. Like, it's sort of like a legitimacy system that was already here. If they will not see reason, we will show it to them. All right. So we have to reintegrate. Defense of Shivali. I would like to have the rest of my High Kingdom back. It looks like these guys didn't say anything. So these dudes, they basically were like, shove it. So I'm going to now, oop, I'm going to now take it. Since, apparently, I don't know why I didn't just accept all their cases right away. I don't actually care. With my coronation as the new ruler of all of Shivali, the last few days have been continuous streams of visitors coming to give their homage and renew their fealty to the crown. And more often than not, bearing gifts. Once up, troop of emissaries have become, what? They gave me a griffin? As the group of anti-magi explain, it is customary for every sovereign of the United Marshes to be gifted one such creature upon their ascension to the throne? Wow. Oh my god, a griffin from the highest peaks of Shivali's Mountains. The griffin normally migrate from their homes in the west to southern southeast come to winter. Come winter, I'm sorry. A migration during which enterprising marchers born both high and low go out to attempt to capture and train the whelps. Holy what? Dude, Shivali is literally just, um... They're, they're basically just Bretonia. And we're done. I'm 
I'm gonna demand conversion. Oh, he won't say yes. Can send it, these guys, this guy is going to send an ultimatum. All right, now we just have to survive this initial craziness here. Because we're definitely gonna have to. I think he's about to endorse me. I accept your gifts. Even though you have a faction against me, I will not be threatened. Oh god dang it. Petty's gifts ready. Two probable vassal one council positions. Which actually, you know what, now he can. And I'm gonna put him here. Because at least he doesn't suck. The other dude blows. Rebellions, rebellions. No one said the transfer power would be easy, did they? There we go. Beat him back. Woo, baby. That's what we want. Oh my god, how? Who is this guy? Oh, he wants independence. Just in general? I don't understand where he's part of. Oh, he's all of that. I mean, I can afford to lose that. Oh, white piece it. Oh, ha, 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 oh, shit. Oh my god, I saved myself here. I don't think they can join any factions because I technically have a arrest. I basically have an arrest warrant on all of them that I could easily use. I'm gonna go seize their capital. Ooh, lucky conjic men are coin. How close are we to enforcing demands? I also seized a mighty deer skin, which I can hang on the wall, which I'm gonna put right there. Even though you can't see it. Now we have war score. And then all we have to do is actually take that, I think, and then we're pretty much done. That was... Oof. Codify the freedom of the life paths. That would be what I'd like to do. I, I need Exalted Among Men to do that. What happened to our other brother? Who murdered him? He murdered my brother? I want you to burn him alive. Make sure he suffers. Another daughter. Lorette. And now he won't be able to join a faction against me. What a cuck. How much money will he have to pay me? Nothing. Although I think he'll be imprisoned and I am going to revoke his title. And probably just take his main city. Just because... I'm incredibly annoyed that he made me do all of this. Nicononius is still alive. So, just an FYI. We have not been playing very long. Only 15 years. Band all, you are gonna get all of your titles revoked. All of it. And now it's mine. Congratulations, you played yourself, kid. You freaking played yourself. This is what happens. It must be a republic government, interesting. However, the perfume industry still gives me a pretty decent amount, so I don't care. I'm just gonna keep them. And now, because now I get 36 gold a turn, my god. Oh my lord. Oh, look at that, I just got the trait strong, because I was just trying to get a little extra boost to his health. So now he's strong and got a prowess boost. This man is... Absolutely crazy. I would love some armor, actually. Let me, let me hire a local artisan. I want flexible chainmail. All right, so again, let's just double check how much of Shivali we have left. Um, boom. All right, so we actually do control this. And it looks like 
it looks like just that. That bit there that we need. And then um, this bit over here, which I'm gonna actually take here in, in, a, in like a minute. Probably now, actually. Since he's got no allies, apparently, and I think he's actually, I think he's fighting against him as well, against Nick and Aeneas. So this works out pretty well for us. And then with any luck, let's just raise men at arms only. I feel like we could win with just men at arms. Because I feel, I, someone is trying to steal from me. Somebody murdered Senwar, the Witchbreaker. No, what did they do? They killed him. They killed my boy. No. God, why? There we are. Now we're in an alliance. Thank you, brother. Finally, Jesus. Wait a minute. Is he telling me that he gave himself a claim on the kingdom? You don't understand what you just told me. I'm gonna now murder you. You think that I'm... That I've made it this far by not killing men? You get nothing! Oh, the Boar King is dead. His father died from his wounds. And we have Gallant now. Finally. It took forever to get down that tree. Please die. My god. None of my murder schemes have worked. I also for I also didn't even realize I was trying to murder my own um Captured him. Alright. That is a lot of land. You're the only one that is still not uh, integrated. Alright, it looks like we just have a little bit left and then we're done. So it is literally just this. If I'm not mistaken, that is the de jure borders of Chevalier. And we even have this, which is technically just the Dutch, but you know. So let's claim our final piece of territory, which is just this. I'm just going to do the 45 because I don't feel like spending all that money. I've not had to do anything with my player Aaron yet, now that I think about it. It's been entirely hands off. This guy's scheming against me? Throw her in jail! Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna expose her to the tower. Jesus. And I'm gonna kill the guy who rebelled against me. Oh! <laughs> they were probably like, I wonder what he'll do with that guy, and then I freaking bodied him, and they were like, oh, maybe we should... Maybe we should not. I'm gonna pardon my half-brother. Since we're now friends. He has an eerily similar looking wife to me. Maybe that's just that kind of French, not French face. This should be over right now. Whatever you need. And then I guess we'll just wait to see what these uh, inspirations give us. Should we do a tournament? Should we host a tournament to celebrate our great... Oh my god, they're expensive. Let's just see. We'll hold it together for now. He made me some flexible armor. Beautiful. What is my prowess now? 67, Jesus. And then I'm kind of curious what she'll make. But, you know, truthfully, we don't actually have to pay attention to that. We can... We can be done. I'm gonna pardon everybody. Because I would like to avoid the bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who the hell is going on here, but... Apparently people are going crazy. Oh, is that right? Because he was a bastard. I didn't even think of that. I don't know why I didn't think of, of Rene as a bastard. My brain was just like me. Oh, wow. So this has a better dynastic opinion, but that is really cool. Oof, 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 oof. Very nice. Very nice. And so it was that in less than 20 years, I think it was only about... 15, 16 years, we've reclaimed Shivali, we've reunited it, and the future is up to the future. Obviously, there's no telling if his successive children will actually be able to rule this land and be able to hold it together. 
it's probably unlikely, as is often the case throughout Chevalier's history, it will likely fracture and will need to be built together again by another great hand. But as for the tale of the Black Bastard, the song, as it were, of the Black Bastard, it has been a beautiful one. For he dared to dream, dared to come back to his lands and stop his brothers from fighting by fighting them and take and unite Shivali once more. And with some new lands to boot, because we got like basically not uh, not Netherlands down there at the bottom, so that's cool. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I've been meaning to do a Rene run for a really long time. You guys voted on this one. You said you wanted to see it. So this was the first of a, I guess, another one I have planned as well that'll come out here in a couple weeks. But I had a lot of fun with this. I think Renee's a cool character. I I was I was sort of avoiding it because it felt a little generic, but I guess people are really really jazzed about it and you know, he I, it's totally understandable why the dude's cool as shit. It's he's cool as shit, right? He's cool as shit. But that's going to be it for me. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as it lets me and you know you like this sort of content and you'd like to see more of it. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you like my content, if you'd like to support the channel, you can consider becoming a channel member. We have two membership tiers, Squires and Knights. You can check out the benefits for those in the membership tab. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Soul. This has been the Song of the Black Bastard. Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me for that. And I will happily see you in the next one.